How to update your email account settings in Outlook on Windows. If your online content has migrated to TSO Host's new and improved hosting platform, you'll need to update your email account settings. We're going to show you how to do this in Outlook on Windows. Updating these settings is critical to continue accessing your email accounts when moving to a new server. Or it might also be necessary for troubleshooting if you're having issues with receiving or sending emails. But before we proceed, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And you could click the little bell logo so you'll be told when our next how-to video debuts. So, where do you find your email account settings? Go to my.tsohost.com. If you're not already signed in, it'll invite you to. And you'll be here, your client area. Go to the Services tab, then select My Services from the drop-down menu. Navigate to your cPanel plan under Products and Services, then click the green Active button. This takes you to your Manage Product page, where you'll click Login to cPanel. Then navigate to the cPanel Admin button, top right, and that will take you to your cPanel dashboard. Now you could scroll all the way down to the section called Email, or simply type email in the search bar, which is what we're doing. Now click Email Accounts. Then choose the email address you want to set up on your email client, and click the relevant Connect Devices button. This takes you to the Setup Mail Client page. There are options for automatic configuration, however, for this tutorial, we're looking at the manual settings. The same settings can be used on other email clients as well. Where our incoming and outgoing servers are named after the hosting server, yours will be called something different, depending on the server your domain has been added to. So what's the difference between secure SSL and non-SSL servers? Simply put, a secure SSL connection is, as the name suggests, more secure, and therefore we recommend it. Now, it's important at this point to ensure you remember your email account password. It might even be worth taking this opportunity to update your password. Now, a word about the difference between IMAP and POP3. Using IMAP will keep your messages on the server in the cloud, so you can access them on any device. IMAP is suggested for people who are using more than one email client on different devices. POP3 downloads the messages locally onto your computer or phone. If someone uses POP3, it's possible to see all the messages only on a single email client, and you won't see those messages on your webmail because they aren't stored on the server. Because of its added flexibility, we would always suggest using IMAP. Now, how to update the incoming and outgoing configuration settings for your email account in Outlook. In order to correct your IMAP settings, press your Windows button and, in the search bar, type Control Panel. Open your Control Panel and, in the search bar, top right, type Mail. Your Microsoft Outlook app should appear. Left-click on that and a pop-up will appear. From there, you select Email Accounts. Select the email account you want to update, then click Change to inspect its connection settings. You will now need the information on your cPanel Setup Mail client page that we visited earlier. Check that the email address and account type details are correct. Don't forget, if you select IMAP, you will view your emails from the mail server, while POP3 will download your emails to your device and remove them from the mail server. For the incoming and outgoing mail servers, just add your server host name. Before you move on, take a second to check that the button labelled Require Login Using Secure Password Authentication is not checked. Now, go to More Settings, bottom right. On the new pop-up, select the Advanced tab, then in here you can add the ports information for your connections. The IMAP incoming port should be 993, and the SMTP outgoing port should be 465. 
Click OK to close the More Settings pop-up, then select the Test Account Settings button on the right. If everything is working as it should, the status of the two tasks will say Completed and you can click Close. So there you have it, our guide to updating your email settings. Before you go, feel free to like this video and click the subscribe button. Then if you hit the little bell logo, you'll be told when our next how-to video debuts. You could also come and find us on social media and tell us which how-to videos you'd like to see us make next.